Mental is yet another layer tool that is being built on Ethereum. And now that they are still on the test net, here are some of the activities that I'm doing that could potentially help us to qualify for the future airdrop. Mental is a network that is being built by BitDAO, and they are something like the decentralized entity of Bybit. The network uses the Bit token, and this has already been available for trading. However, it still could be possible for you to receive some of these Bit tokens if you're an early adopter of this layer too. The Mental testnet has just been launched, and the mainnet may be coming within a few months. I'll be going through some of the activities that we can do ahead of this mainnet launch. The first thing we can do is to join Mentos Discord and we can go to the Fawcett channel to receive some bit tokens on the Goalie testnet. These tokens are different from the ones that are already on the mainnet so they do not have any value and it's just for you to experiment around with the Mentos network. You can type in this command and paste your Metamask address. You will be given a transaction hash and once this transaction has been confirmed, you should now have some bit tokens on the Goalie testnet. If you have not added this network yet, you can check out my video here where I show you how to add this network to Metamask as well as how you can receive some Go early Ethereum to perform transactions on this testnet. Now that we have some bit tokens, we can go to Mentos Crew 3 dashboard to complete certain tasks. I would appreciate it if you could use my referral link in the description below as this will help me complete certain quests as well. There's this whole section where you can perform certain tasks on the testnet and the different quests will guide you along the way. One of these tests is to mint some bit tokens from the Mentos faucet and we will need some Go early Ethereum to pay for the gas fees. This faucet should be the same as the one on Discord. So to complete this quest, what I'll need to do is to copy this transaction hash and paste it as proof that I have completed this task. The next step that we can do is to bridge our assets from the Goalie testnet to Mental, and this can be done via the Mental bridge. However, if you are doing this for the very first time, you may actually want to complete this quest on Galaxy, where you can use the multi-chain testnet to bridge your bit tokens from Goalie to Mental. This could help you to get one NFT, which may help you to receive some benefits in the future. I'm on the multi-chain testnet, and I'm bridging over 500 of my bit tokens from Goalie to Mental. The first step is to approve multi-chain smart contracts to interact with the bit tokens in your wallet. You need to set a custom spending cap for your bit tokens and I'll just select the default option which signifies that this is an unlimited token approval. If you want to learn more about token approvals, I also have a video of that in the description below. This transaction will cost some go early Ethereum so you need to have enough funds in your wallet as well. Once this token approval has been completed, I will now be able to bridge my bit tokens to Mental. This will be the details of the transaction and the cross-chain fee is 0.5 bit tokens. This transaction will cost some go early Ethereum as well. So once you have approved this transaction, we may need to wait for a while before the bridging is successful. Right now the bridging transaction is still going through for my bid token, so here are some other things that we can do while waiting for this transaction. If you're willing to spend some money for this potential airdrop, you can buy some bid tokens on the Ethereum mainnet and then verify this on the Mental Guild. You can qualify for the bid holder role by just holding at least one bid token on the Ethereum mainnet. The only problem is that the gas fees can cost a few dollars whenever you are making any swap to the bid token. Do you find it very hard to keep track of all of the airdrops that you're farming for? I've created a notion site to check all of the different projects and networks that I'm currently farming for an airdrop. This section includes all of the different steps that you need to take as well as any useful links and a video guide that I've uploaded to YouTube. If you're interested in gaining access to this airdrop tracker, you can sign up for my Substack newsletter and the link to this site will be included in your welcome email. Another thing we can do while waiting for our bid tokens is to add the Mental Testnet to our Metamask wallet. The easiest way is to go to the Chinese website and then search for Mental. The currency used to pay for gas fees should be the bid token and we can add this network to our Metamask wallet. We now have some bit tokens on the Mental testnet and another task we can do is to mint our own custom token. Mental has provided detailed instructions on how we can create this token using the Dexpad application. We will need to connect our Metamask wallet and make sure that we are on the Mental testnet. So I just entered these details of this random token and we will call 0.2 bit tokens to mint your custom token. Once we have minted our token, we can now go to the Manage Token tab and this was the random token that I created. The next step is to copy your token's contract address and you can import it as a custom token on Metamask. There may be other tasks that are launched in the near future, so you may want to come back to this page from time to time and see if there are any new quests that you can complete. Another project that you may qualify for airdrop is MentalSwap, and this is one of the first few decentralized exchanges that's built on the Mental blockchain. So it's currently on the incentivized testnet, and we can connect our Metamask wallet that already has funds on the Mental testnet. MentalSwap allows me to swap my bit tokens to any of these tokens on the Mental network. I'll be swapping my bit tokens to the Mental Swap token, and a good thing is that I do not need to pay any gas fees for this transaction so I can just do a lot of random swaps on this platform. Mental Swap also has a faucet where you can get some DAI, USDC and USDT and you only need to pay about 0.1 bit to get these tokens on the network. Now I have some of these stable coins on the Mental testnet and the next step we can do is to provide some liquidity to Mental Swap. I provided liquidity for some DAI and USDC and you need to approve the transaction to allow Mental Swap smart contract to interact with the token balances in your wallet. So again I'll just put it as an unlimited spending and it actually does not cost any gas fees. Once you have 
we approve both of these tokens, the next step will be to confirm the addition of this liquidity. We can do this for the other funds that we have on the Mento network as well, where we can provide liquidity for USDT and USDC or other tokens as well. MentoSwap also has its own Crew3 dashboard and you can complete some of the tasks over here and this could help you to qualify for the main token once it launches. None of these are actually confirmed but hopefully this will allow us to qualify for some tokens that are being released. You may also want to keep a lookout for other projects that are being launched on Mental as they may release a token in the near future as well. Do let me know in the comments how you found this entire experience of trying to perform activities on the Mental network and also let me know if you have any questions regarding this airdrop. There are so many other airdrops that you could be eligible for and this next video will show you one of the hottest ones.